here we have a stock Galaxy Saturn and we're going to install the AC Mod 3 on us today and we're going to take some notes before and after who's doing a one and a half watt dead key uh, do you want to and when you modulate you do about uh, 30 watts TET but uh, look at your negative peaks uh, do you look how they flatten out that's pure distortion right there audio that is terrible audio one two whoa so we're gonna see how the AC mod takes care of that it makes those negative peaks go no further than 99% and still your positive peaks will be up in the two to three hundred percent range also we're gonna change the germanium diodes and the AM detector noise blanker and S meter sections to shot key diodes AC mod installed all the mods are in Hi-Fi transmit, Hi-Fi receive, VFO wind, new shot key upgrades aligned. We've upgraded the receive and transmit stages for wideband audio, including the six kilohertz filter, all the receive uh, from the detectors all the way to the audio amplifier. And on the receive, we've upgraded the uh, S meter detection, AM detection, and the noise blanker uh, with the shot key diodes. And here you have your um, line in connector in the rear and your on and off switch for the VFO wind. Now we're going to compare this unit. Um, to when it first came in. When it first came in, uh, we saw on the oscilloscope it was uh, distorting at the zero volt line. It was pinching badly. Um, the negative peaks were really bad. And uh, we're going to see how we took care of that now with AC Mod 3S Hi Fi Asymmetrical AM Modulator. So we're going to start by using. Uh, this mic here, the 575 static, one of the better microphones out there with tone control. And we're gonna use it now and we're gonna compare it to the RE20 studio mic using uh, studio processing uh, later on and we're gonna see the, the differences in that. So we're gonna we'll go ahead and key up now. Uh, let's uh, put this here, zero volt line. Uh, we're gonna key up. That's a one and a half watt uh, reference. Uh, there our carriers are one and a half watts so we're going to go ahead and talk into the mic now and at the same time we're recording on the computer as you can see here we are in Vegas and uh, we're recording uh, this over the uh, Drake R8 receiver <clears throat> and uh, we are using the uh, 575 as you can see uh, there's no pinching at the zero volt line negative peaks are there at 99 percent positive peaks around 250 to 300 percent modulation a real pretty envelope there nice looking envelope and um, there's our receiver now we're going to go ahead and switch um, over to um, our studio uh, mic using uh, pro tools and uh, we're going to see what that sounds like so now we're going to go ahead and plug in the line in connector in the back. Now that has deactivated or disabled the hand mic and we're going to use now the RE20. And we're going to key up do it using the PTT mouse. And uh, audio one, two, three, four. Hello, audio test. Audio test one, two, three, four, five. Let's give it a little more modulation there. Audio one, two, three, four. Hello, audio test. Testing one, two, three, four. 
As you can see, uh, the symmetry right now is pretty low. We're going to lift it up just a little bit. Uh, do you one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to bring up the asymmetry just a little bit. And uh, we're going to see our positive peaks right now are uh, about 300% modulation. Uh, do you one, two, three, four. And our negative peaks are there. Our negative peaks are not going beyond 99%. Uh, audio one, two. Hello, audio. Look at that. Nice. Beautiful envelope. Audio one, two, three, four. And here we have the uh, recording. As you can see, we can even see the asymmetry in the recording. You can see the top part of the, uh, of the modulation envelope there on the computer. That the positive side is about twice the size of the bottom part, which is the negative peaks. <clears throat> so there you have it. That's what it sounds like uh, with the process audio running this uh, nice Galaxy Saturn. And now we're going to move on and, uh, and show you guys how the uh, BFO wind-up uh, effect works on this radio. We're going to uh, key up uh, with this um, Galaxy Pluto. And the same frequency, and we're going to heterodyne into zero beat, so you guys can hear the VFO wind here on the uh, Galaxy Saturn. We'll be right back with that. Hi-Fi audio. Asymmetrical audio. AC mod. So we're going to go ahead and key up the uh, Galaxy Pluto. And uh, we're going to see we got the carrier there. And we're going to go ahead and uh, enable the VFO wind with the rear switch. And now we're going to look at the FFT, that line right there. Each division, each horizontal division is 5 kilohertz. And uh, here we're looking at a span on the uh, uh, spectrum analyzer. We're going to set it at 10 kilohertz span and we're going to put our reference level at about 40. And now we have our signal there from the Pluto and now when we key up we're going to hear the heterodyne effect as it moves into its fundamental frequency uh, and reaching the zero beat. So here we go. Audio one, two, three, four. As you can see, every time I key up. Audio one, two, three, four, five. Hello, audio test one, two. So if you like what you see, drop me an email at acadvice.gmail.com or visit our page at acmod.am.